Good day. Welcome sa classroom ni Sir Jay. So, for this day, ang pag-aaralan natin is factoring polynomials. So, ano ba yung sinasabi nating factoring? So, yun ay ang pagkuha ng prime factorization ng isang given algebraic expression. So, bago tayo mag-proceed sa example, uh, i-compare natin siya sa idea ng prime factorization ng whole number. Ito yung halimbawa natin. So, let's say meron tayong 12. Kukunin natin ng prime factorization. So, ang pinakang common na method ay ang factor 3. So, isip lang tayo ng dalawang number na kapag minultiply natin ay 12. So, pwede ang 4 at saka 3. And then, dun sa kanyang factors, isip natin kung pwede pa silang i-factor ulit. So, kagaya ng 4, pwede pa itong i-factor sa 2. At saka 2. Yung 3 hindi na pwede kasi wala ng factor ang 3 kundi yung 1 at sarili niya. So, we can simply bring down 3. So, ibig sabihin, ang prime factorization ng 12 ay 2 times 2 times 3. So, ganito yung idea na gusto nating ipakita sa factoring polynomials. Pero syempre, magkaiba yung kanyang method. Sa pagkuha ng prime factorization ng polynomials, pwede tayong gumamit ng remainder theorem, factor theorems, or even synthetic division. Okay. So, let's proceed now to our example. So, what are the factors of x squared plus 6x plus 8? So, meron tayong mga tips pa paano natin malalaman kung Ilang expression ba ang pinag-multiply para makuha yung ating sagot? So, makikita natin yon sa degree of the polynomial. Pag sinabing degree, yun yung highest exponent. At para sa example na to, ang highest exponent ay 2. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong dalawang expression na pinag-multiply para magkaroon tayo ng ganitong expression. Ngayon, paano naman natin malalaman yung possible numbers na kailangan natin para mahanap yung factors. Ang titingnan naman natin ay yung constant. At sa expression na to, ang constant natin ay 8. So, kailangan lang natin kunin ang factors ng 8. So, ano-ano nga ba yun? So, ang factors ng 8 ay ito. So, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 8, and negative 8. Ibig sabihin, sa set of numbers na ito, naandito yung possible numbers na pwede nating maging um, factors dun sa ating uh, given expression. Now, para sa module natin, ang ginamit ay remainder theorem. So, sa video na ito, yun din ang method na gagamitin natin. Since marami yung ating numbers dito, gagamit tayo ng trial and error para mahanap yung numbers na yon At ilan yung numbers na kailangan natin? Again, we need 2. So, let's begin with the first factor. So, let's say we have if x is equal to 1. So, remember the factor theorem. Magiging factor ang isang number kapag ang naging remainder ay 0. Kaya dito, kapag nag-0, ibig sabihin, one of the factor is 1. Pero kapag hindi nag-0, ibig sabihin, hindi siya factor. Let's do the solution. So, we have P of 1 equals, so changing all x's to 1, we have 1 square plus 6 times 1 plus 8. So, P of 1 is equal to 1 square is 1, then 6 times 1, 6 plus 8. So, P of 1 is equal to 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 8 is 15. Since hindi ito nag-equal sa 0, ibig sabihin, this is not a factor. So, hindi siya kasama sa pagpipilihan natin. So, next, 
Second factor natin is negative 1. So, let's have if x is equal to negative 1. So, again, using remainder theorem, we have p of negative 1. So, changing all x's to negative 1, we have negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1 plus 8. So, p of negative 1 is equal to negative 1 squared plus 1. 6 times negative 1 is negative 6 plus 8. So, p of negative 1 is equal to 1 minus 6 is negative 5 plus 8 is 3. So, hindi pa rin nag-0, ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin ito factor. So, next to our list is 2. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, class, tayo ay nagamit ng trial and error. So, we have p of 2 is equal to now, changing x to 2, we have 2 square plus 6 times 2 plus 8. So, p of 2 is equal to 2 square, we have 4. Then, we have 6 times 2, we have 12 plus 8. So, p of 2 is equal to 4 plus 12 is 16 plus 8, we have 24. So, hindi pa rin siya nag-0. Ibig sabihin, ang 2 ay hindi pa rin factor. So, nasa pang-apat na number na tayo, which is negative 2. So, let's have it. So, P of negative 2. So, changing all x's to negative 2, we have negative 2 square plus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. So, P of negative 2 is equal to negative 2 square is 4. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 plus 8. So, P of negative 2 is equal to 4 minus 12 is negative 8 plus 8 equals 0. So, nakakuha na tayo ng isang 0. Ibig sabihin, this is a factor. Since meron na tayong isang factor na nahanap, isa na lang yung kailangan natin. At meron pa tayong apat na natitira. Let's proceed to the next one. So, we have x equals 4. We have p of 4 equals so, changing, four, uh, changing x to 4, we have 4 squared plus 6 times 4 plus 8. So, p of 4 is equal to 4 squared is 16 plus 6 times 4 is 24 plus 8. So, p of 4 is equal to 16 plus 24 is 40 plus 8. 48. So, again, 4 is not a factor. Then, we have now negative 4. So, if x is equal to negative 4, so, p of negative 4, changing all x's to negative 4, we have negative 4 square plus 6 times negative 4 plus 8. So, p of negative 4 is equal to negative 4 squared is 16. Then, we have 4 times negative, ah, uh, sorry, 6 times negative 4, negative 24 plus 8. So, we have p of negative 4 is equal to 16 minus 24 is negative 8 plus 8, we have 0. Again, we obtain 0, therefore, negative 4 is a factor. As we said, dalawa lang ang kailangan natin at nakahanap na tayo ng dalawang factor, pwede na nating hindi ituloy dun sa remaining factors ng ating constant. Now, paano natin mahanap ngayon yung correct expression gamit yung dalawang factors na nahanap natin? So, all we need to do is equate this 
factors para maging zero yung right side. So, ganito lang siya kasimple. So, yung unang nahanap natin is negative 2. So, we have here negative 2. If x is equal to negative 2, lipat lang natin yung negative 2 sa left side. We have x changing negative 2, positive 2 equals 0. Then, yung isa pa nating factor na nahanap kanina, we have negative 4. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin. If x is equal to negative 4, lipat lang si negative 4 sa kaliwa, we have x, then this will become positive 4 equals 0. So, yung naging expression natin dito, which is x plus 2 at x plus 4, yun yung dalawang expression na hinahanap natin na factors ng ating given expression. So, meron na tayong answer ngayon. So, ang answer natin, we have x plus 2 and x plus 4. So, ito yung ating factors. So, kung nagustuhan nyo ang lesson natin ngayon, so, like and share lang. And then, subscribe na rin kayo sa YouTube channel ko para ma-update kayo sa ating mga lessons. So, thank you for watching.